May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our salah. Allahumma ameen, ya rabbil alameen. InshaAllah today we will talk about the dua that it is mentioned in the fortress of the Muslim during the time of the sujood. And first of all, I just wanted to highlight the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said, أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونُ الْعَبْدُ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ وَهُوَ سَاجِدُ The closest point in your relationship with Allah during your salah while you are in a state of sujood. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Qur'an, وَاسْجُدْ وَقْتَرِبْ اسجد وقترب. Have sujood to Allah, then you will be closer to Him. Then you will be close to Allah when you have sujood. And subhanAllah, it looks like sujood, that's the, the farthest point in salah because you go down. And you think that by going down, now you are far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the reality is that the sujood is the closest point to Allah. So this is the most precious, actually, um, uh, movement in your salah, the most precious moment in your salah while you are in a state of sujood. And of course the most uh, uh, famous dua that we say, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, and see the contrast. You are down and you are calling Allah by His name, Al-A'la, the most high. And Subhanallah, it, 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 it is as if you are saying to Allah, Oh Allah, yes, I am down, but I acknowledge, like my forehead, this is the, the, what the scholar said, وَهَذَا أَعْلَى مَا, 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 مَا يَمْلِكُهُ الْإِنسَانِ فِي جِسْمِهِ وَهُوَ الْجَبْهَ Like that's the most honorable place, your forehead. That's why uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Alaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَنَسْفَعًا بِالْنَاصِيَةِ We will take him from the nasiyah, the forehead. If you want to humiliate somebody, you grab him from his hair and, and, and pull him towards you, make his forehead to go down to the earth. That's if you want to humiliate somebody. You, we are in a state of sujood willingly, out of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, acknowledging His greatness. We go down, we put that forehead on the ground, and we call Him by His name, the Most High. Glory be to Allah, the Most High. And that's why Allah made that, when you whisper, this is, Actually, one of the non-Muslims, I think during the time of Sheikh Ahmed Didat, one of the, the, the priests during his time, he said, I don't know what Muslims are doing. They are whispering to the ground. And uh, he thought that we are whispering to the ground. So the Imam had responded and he said, yes, our voice that we whisper to the ground, but it is known and it's heard by Allah on His throne upon the seven skies. That's the secret behind sujood. You whisper here to the ground, and that voice is heard on the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's, <clears throat> that's how it is so powerful when it comes to the sujood. And actually, as we said for ruku'ah, we have many narrations that you can say, Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdik Allahumma ghafir li, and the most common one, which is common between ruku' and sujood, you say subuhun kudus rabbul malaikati wal ruh. And other narrations are a little bit, you know, um, uh, long, but I will just give you the meaning that you say to Allah during your sujood, and 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 that's why I always urge people. When you go to sujood, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever you want. And uh, sometimes people wanted to stick with certain du'as, which is so great. That's why 
we explain the du'as of Rasulullah. Mm -hmm. But what if? What if I do not memorize any du'a? Talk to Allah. We, we have two words in, in our Sharia, in our Islam. We have du'a and we have munaja. What, what is the definition of munaja? I don't know in Urdu if you have munajat. If you have it? No. So what's munaja? Munaja actually is more generic, is more larger than just dua. Munaja, you complain to Allah, you tell Him about your situation, about your condition. Sometimes you tell Him in details about your problems, and then you end this by making the dua. So the munaja and the dua is included. And I always give the evidence with the mother of Maryam. Rabbi inni nadartu laka ma fi batni muharrara. And she is telling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole situation. Oh Allah, you know that I have made the nadr and I got pregnant, but I now I give the birth for the baby, the delivery, and it's a untha. And you know, oh Allah, that the untha, can, the, the female, cannot fulfill the mission that I made an oath for. And by the way, I give her the name of Maryam. So why she is telling Allah that she give her the name Maryam? Allah knows. But that's the nature of munaja. You talk, you complain, sometimes you cry to Allah, tell Him about your thought, about what bothers you. So that's very important in the position of sujood. So one of the du'as actually, you say to Allah, Allahumma ghfir li dhanbi kulla, diqqahu wa julla, wa awwalahu wa akhira, wa ala niyatahu wa sirra. Oh Allah, forgive all my sins, 